Manchester United's hunt for a new manager, it's the most important thing at the club right now. And whether or not you want to have a conversation about Thomas Tuchel, we have to have a conversation about Thomas Tuchel. He's on Manchester United's shortlist for our permanent manager, our next permanent manager coming after Ralph Rennick moves upstairs. Do you think it's the right thing to do? That's what I want to talk about in this video. I want to give my opinion, run through all the facts that we know and the story to date. And I want you to let me know in the comments, do you think the Manchester United should be looking at Thomas Tuchel as a candidate for our next permanent manager? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Before I do start, please, would you consider hitting that subscribe button down there? It would mean a lot to me and mean a lot to United People's TV to have you part of the community. Hit the notifications bell as well. But let's talk about this situation because I'll be honest, I didn't think we were going to have to talk about this situation. But the reality is he's on Manchester United's shortlist. Now, when did this story really kind of start? The first I really heard from it, of course, we all know why the story has come around. And it's a direct consequence of the sanctions against Roman Abramovich. OK, had they not come in, we wouldn't be having this conversation about Thomas Tuchel. This is a reactive story that's come on the back of this. And I suppose not on the back of Jamie Carragher saying this, but I remember he was one of the first people to say this. He said, look, United can offer Tuchel security and backing that every top coach craves. He's saying it was more of a no-brainer that Manchester United should be going after him. Now, that's something I completely disagree with. And I will explain that in a bit more detail as the video goes on. But Tuchel, given the fact that we're looking at Ten Hag so closely, we're looking at Pochettino so closely, have we had this conversation a while ago? I think Tuchel should have been a candidate. But at this point in time, it just feels far too reactive. If we take a look at what Thomas Tuchel had to say about this situation, he knows that his future is uncertain. And that is why Jamie Carragher is saying what he is saying there. He's called it predatory, and it would be predatory. It would be a reactionary move from Manchester United to try and take advantage of a situation that's happening at Chelsea. And if, as I said, he knows his future at Chelsea is uncertain. No one knows and that Chelsea, what's going to happen past this season now? And that, for me, is a wonderful thing to watch. Chelsea, you invited Abramovich in. You were the first to bring in a foreign ownership into, into the Premier League and to bring an owner that didn't care about profit or loss, just wanted to spend, 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 because, let's be honest, he was hiding himself and he was using Chelsea as a political tool. But let's not get into that one whatsoever. Uh, let's take a look at what the stories that have developed in the last 72 hours. This is from The Athletic this morning from Laurie Whitwell confirming that Manchester United are monitoring Chelsea's situation. And so is, so is James Ducker from The Telegraph saying the same thing, that Manchester United are keeping a watch of what's going on with Thomas Tuchel at Chelsea. Now, the first thing I want to say about him, nobody can deny that he is a top, top level manager. He may have got sacked by PSG, but... Being sat by PSG isn't the measure of success as a manager. He's had a good period at Dortmund. He's had a good period at PSG. And he's gone to Chelsea and he won the Champions League last year. And he's in the quarterfinals this year. And he's made Chelsea a real force. And not made them a force again. They were a force before he came in, but he's continued that. And he's found success very quickly there. And the thing I understand about this whole Tuchel conversation is the CV, right? So if we would take a look at the CV of Thomas Tuchel down here, he's got big ears on it. He's got a Champions League to his name. He's obviously got the German Cup. I've got the two French titles with PSG. He has one in his career. If we were to take a look at Eric Ten Hag's, he's got two Eric Divizia titles to his name. Nothing else, though. He doesn't have the Champions League. And if you're looking at Poch, well, he's only got a French Cup to his name. So if you're looking at CV-wise, there's only one clear winner. And, of course, it's him because, of course, he won the Champions League with Chelsea. In his first, well, it wasn't, it was half a season that he came in and, and took over. And then all of a sudden, bam, look at what they're doing. I, so that's where I understand this conversation about Tuchel, right? That's where I genuinely do understand it. But the thing I don't understand is this. And for me, this is why I don't want Manchester United to, I don't want the distraction of Thomas Tuchel. Okay. The only reason we're having this conversation is because this bloke is best mates with Putin. Chelsea have been sanctioned. He's been forced to sell the club. That's brought huge questions over his future, huge question marks over the future of Aspilicueta, who he's pictured with there, who could be leaving on a free transfer of Antonio Rudiger. It's all come as a direct consequence of the fact that Chelsea now can't really operate as a football club. But does that mean that Manchester United should be going after him? Now, this is where 
I stand on it. And, and this is why it doesn't sit right with me that we're having this two conversation because I don't question in any way, shape or form his credentials. Why would I? As I said, he's got it there. We've seen it last year. We've seen it when we're watching Chelsea. They're a very good team. They really are a very good team under Thomas Tuchel. But if he was a candidate on Manchester United's list for becoming our next permanent manager, we should have been having this conversation about him back in November. Back when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was sacked after that defeat against Watford, all focus was, of course, on the interim job at that point. And then Ralph Radnick came in. But find me an article, find me a journalist back in December or January, if you really want to, having a conversation about Thomas Tuchel to Manchester United. Nobody was speaking about it because this man and his ownership was not in question. The only, com only reason we're having this conversation now is because that has been completely called into question. Whereas Tuchel now says the future at Chelsea is completely uncertain because of what's happened with Roman Abramovich. And that's exactly why Jamie Carragher said what he said. It would be a predatory move. But if Manchester United wants to take advantage of the opportunity, then Manchester United should be going after him. And that's why I think it's completely wrong. I understand what Jamie Carragher is getting at, right? In the fact that everything's going wrong at Chelsea. Why not try and take advantage of that? But what we've heard so far for quite a long time is Manchester United are going through a thorough process of finding a new manager. And we're now two months before the end of the season. In my opinion, I would love to get this manager deal announced within one month. So by, eight, by the 20th of April, I think by the time we play Liverpool, roughly, I want us to have a deal agreed for a new manager. That's never in a million years going to happen with Thomas Tuchel. Chelsea will not negotiate that. They've got their, their whole clubs going up in flames right now. You think they're going to let one of their rivals take their manager mid-season? It, 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 it's, it's, it's implausible verging on impossible that Manchester United will be able to get a deal agreed for Thomas Tuchel, hypothetical deal, before the end of the season. So then that leaves us between May and the season starts and the 6th of August. I think it starts a little bit early this year. We've got so much to sort. We can't sort any transfer situations out until our manager is in because no player will know who our manager is going to be. And that's for me, is why this is good news. Samuel Luckhurst this afternoon from Manchester Evening News saying that Eric Ten Hag is Manchester United's preferred managerial candidate as it stands. When it comes to Ten Hag and when it comes to Pochettino, it's down to a matter of opinion. Both of them have their pros. Both of them have their cons. If I'm looking at the biggest pro of Eric Ten Hag, I'm looking at the fact that he's rebuilt that Ajax squad from 2018-19 to what he's doing this season. Two completely distinctly different teams, both built in his identities and both successful. May have crashed out in the Champions League in the quarterfinals to, to Benfica this year and may have lost that Champions League semi to Poch. But you can see the identity and the good work that he's done in two separate occasions at the same club. That, for me, is the biggest pro of Ten Hag. If I'm looking at Pochettino, it's the work that he did between 2016 and 19 at Spurs under very tight restrictions against City, against what was going on in the Premier League, and he nearly won the title, nearly won the Champions League, fell just short for both of them. But there's no doubt that Poch is a good manager as well. So that's what I mean. It comes down to a bit of a matter of opinion, I would say. When it comes, because if you're looking at CVs, Tuchel's is outstanding by comparison of Ten Hag and of Poch's. But I think Ten Hag would be the right man. So for me to see news like that, that Ten Hag is our preferred managerial candidate, that's what I want to see. I want to see United going out there, going hard and quick uh, to go and get a deal for Ten Hag done. It won't be difficult to agree. Ajax are now in the position, they know that Ten Hag is going to be leaving. All right, compensation is going to be minimal. Uh, Overmars has left. Klaasian Huntelaar has come in. Ten Hag, it's obvious. It, it, the step for him to leave is going to happen. It's going to happen this summer. And I don't think Ajax will stand, Ajax will stand in the way. You could argue the same thing for Pochettino. PSG is going to be leaving there at the end of the season. It's a simple kind of process to make that happen. So both those deals could be agreed before the season ends. Tuchel, you've got absolutely no chance. And United cannot afford to, out of nowhere, in my opinion... Take a massive U-turn from looking at Poch or Ten Hag. And I know you could, there's mentions of Lopetegui, of Luis Enrique. I think they're just guffed. There's no way that either of them really are being strongly considered by Manchester United. But for Manchester United to sort of take the Jamie Carragher approach and say, look, 
let's be predatory. Let's let let's let's sort of do a big U-turn away from this plan that we've been working toward with our Ten Hag or Poch and the disagreements we're having over, over which is the right manager. And all of a sudden, just to be talking about Thomas Tuchel, for me, it doesn't make any sense. And it would strike me that the club, that's, that's, that's exactly what Manchester United would have done and probably would and could still do. It, it shows a lack of long-term planning to all of a sudden get distracted by the shiny diamond and then go for him instead. Ten Hag, for me, is the right man. Ten Hag, according to the reports, is the preferred candidate. Ten Hag is who I want to come in. And whether it's Ten Hag or Poch, as I said, for me, it strikes me as a matter of opinion rather than anything else. And a gut, a gut instinct and a bit of opinion. But I think it should be Ten Hag. I can understand if it's going to be Poch. I don't think in any way, shape or form should it be this man. Simply for the fact that he is Chelsea manager. Chelsea are going through... Everything they're going through because of Abramovich, they will not let him go easily. They will not let him go early. And it'll be a massive distraction for Manchester United. Let's get this deal done. Get this deal over the line. We've got to move quickly. We've got to move aggressively. I don't think we can do that with Tuchel. So for me, it's a really strange thing seeing this whole Tuchel to Manchester United thing. I don't think we're lending good news for Manchester United. I don't think we get him. I don't think Chelsea will let him go, even if he did want the move. That's my own opinion. And I really want to know where you stand on this one because it's. I can understand, as I said, if you go back to the CV, by comparison, Tuchel's outstanding. He's got the Champions League. He's proved it in the Premier League. Of course, on paper, he might seem the right candidate, but circumstances dictate that I don't think he would be. That's my own opinion. You might disagree with that. That's why I did this video. That's why I love hearing from you, the community, in the comments below. So please let me know what you think about the whole Tuchel situation. Should he, all of a sudden, supersede Ten Hag and Poch? And should we go out for him? All out for him? Or do you agree with me that could could end in tears and United wasting time and probably offending? Not offending, but if all of a sudden we now look at Tuchel and say he, he's the one we want, what, what would Ten Hag and Poch think? They'd probably be looking elsewhere. Maybe we could be left empty-handed at the end of it. I don't know. But let me know what you think about the whole Tuchel situation in the comments below because I think this is a really interesting debate for United fans to be having.